All right, Coach, tell us about your weekend uh, against Richland and Tyler. Uh, Friday night we traveled down to Dallas to play Richland, who is 2009 Division Three national champions. Uh, played in their stadium. Um, it was a great night, cool weather. That was kind of different for over the past month. Um, and the girls played really well. Probably the first half was our best 45 minutes we've had this year. Uh, got up to a 1-0 lead at half. Probably should have been maybe three. Missed a couple chances in front of the goal off some serves. Um, but, you know, with timing and repetition, I think that's going to come, or I hope it is. Um, in second half, Richland, you got to give them credit. You know, they're not national champions by accident. They come out, get a goal right when the half starts, make it 1-1, uh, and then we're able to, to dominate the rest of the match. Uh, the shot count was 19-6 to in our favor. Um, we just couldn't find a goal. Had plenty of chances in the second half, a couple of great chances in overtime. And um, you know, that's the thing about soccer. Sometimes you can dominate your opponent, but if you don't put a chance away, you don't win the game. And that was that was kind of the, the scenario on Friday night. Um, but I don't want to take anything away from Richland. Uh, for as much as we dominate a possession, they did a great job of staying together. You know, when you dominate a team like we did them, you usually see kids start to bicker at each other and things fall apart, and they never did. They realized, you know what, we've got to sit in and we've got to counterattack Butler, and that's what we'll do, and they did it. And we just, the difference came to us not finding that second goal. And then on uh, Sunday morning, we, we returned to Richland again, and this time we played Tyler, who's been in the, the national championship game the last two years for Division I. Uh, won it in 2009, lost last year 1 0. And, uh, you know, with them comes that big title and that number in front of them. And I thought our girls were a little bit apprehensive at the beginning, maybe a little bit on our back foot, maybe in awe of them. Um, and you could tell by our, our body language and our demeanor and just kind of the shell that we were in. And when you do that against a team like Tyler, they're going to make you pay. And after the first 20 minutes, we were down 2-0 and we're against the wind and I'm I'm telling myself we might be in real trouble. Um, but something clicked in the girls, and they, they started to find possession. Early in the game, we were we were just a bit panicky. We'd get the ball and give it back to them, defend, 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 get the ball, give it back to them. And we started to find a rhythm, and that changed the game. And probably about six or seven minutes after they had scored their second goal, we got a corner kick. Uh, Stephanie Bonilla was able to serve the corner to the back post. Natasha headed it back across the face of the goal, and... Perla Hernandez put it in to make it 2-1. And now I'm thinking to myself, 2-1, halftime, we get the win second half. That's manageable. So what could have been a disaster actually turned out to be something manageable at halftime. Um, come out in the second half, two minutes in, we hit the crossbar. Um, hits the bottom of the crossbar, goes down. One of those, did it go across the line, did it not? It happened in the blink of an eye. I wanted it to be, the ref said no, and so we moved on. But uh, could have been 2-2 two to two right away. Um, as the get half goes on, neither team can find a goal, but we're getting the majority of the possession. Um, with about 15 minutes left, change the goalkeepers to bring a new dynamic on, push players forward, and probably with about five minutes left, we're playing literally with two defenders um, and four forwards. And then the rest of the kids are just kind of in a and a melee in the middle of the field. And Tyler punishes us for it. They get a counterattack. We don't clear the ball from in front of our goal. We have a chance to clear it. We miss hit it. And their kid's able to stick in the goal, make a 3-1. That happens sometimes when you push numbers forward. Um, and then just a minute or two later, we get a free kick, and Ashling Dyer, who was the goalkeeper I changed to a field player, she scores a free kick, makes it 3-2. We kick off, or they kick off, and then the game ends. If the final score is 3 2. Um, so the game could have went either way. You know, we hit the crossbar, it's a different story. We finish a chance in the middle of the game, and maybe it's a different story. But I think that our girls um, played hard all weekend, and we made adjustments at halftime, so they're listening to what we're asking them to do. And I think it's a, it's a great step for us in terms of being able to be prepared for the conference in the region. And talk about that. You played three of the top five teams in the nation. Now you begin your conference and region play. How well prepared is your team? 
Well, yeah, I think it goes back even before the the top five teams playing the Division two teams in the preseason was to prepare us for the top five, and then the top five was to prepare us for teams like Johnson County and Hutch, the the perennial contenders, along with ourself. I think we're very well prepared. Um, what happened at the beginning of the Tyler game, that apprehensiveness and that being on our back foot and maybe being in a little bit of awe of our opponent, what I hope that that's done is that's going to eliminate that when we go to Hutchinson, eliminate that when Johnson County comes here because we know that we can play with a team that's in the national championship game every year. Um, so the goal of these games against these top five teams not only was to try to elevate ourselves into that be in the same group, be a top five team, but to prepare ourselves for the conference. Um, and I think it's done it. I think it's given our kids the confidence and the realization that we are one of the best teams, not just in our region, but maybe in the country. And that that's kind of the goal. You talk about being one of the top teams in the country. You're now ranked number fourth nationally in the NSCAA poll, the highest in Butler history. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I'd be, I'd be lying if I didn't say it's pretty exciting. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh, I think all the honor goes to the girls. You know, they had to, to perform uh, in these first five games. You know, when we made the schedule, you know, I said we could be one and four after the first five games. Um, but we weren't, we're not. We're three, one, and one. Um, and it is a great start. And does the number mean anything this early on? It does. It puts a target on our back. So now we're going to get some people's best shots and maybe we're going to put some of our teams in awe of us um, but it's exciting in the terms of the publicity and the confidence it's given our kids but at the end of the day uh, we have to win the games um, you know it's that saying says it's hard to get to the top but it's harder to stay there so you know we'll see if we can we can stay there for a while all right thanks coach